Hey y'all, welcome to a gorgeous Friday's Art for You on Uncle Bubba's Bell Buckle Bear Fusion. A cicada on my ear, look at that. <laughs> I'm, out, I'm out here sitting in front of my two uh, Bradford pear trees where the cicadas are, are giving me a wonderful serenade and it kind of drowns out everything. <laughs> anyway, what I've got for you today, I, I, I got this beer down there at the World Market a couple weeks ago. Um, on my beer run, <laughs> and it's a Japanese beer I've never seen before. I actually give six bucks for this can. There's another cicada. <laughs> I give six dollars for this can, and it's something from the Kiyuchi Brewery um, out of Naka Shibari Naka Shibaraki. Nakashi Baraki, Japan is what it says on here. And it's a Hitachino nest, which I guess Hitachino is an owl, because that looks like an owl. But it's a Hitachino nest white ale. It's a 5.5% ABV. Um, this is an ale <coughs> brewed with spices and orange juice. Um, it says on here, a wit beer brewed with coriander, orange peel, and nutmeg, a refreshing beer with spicy notes and soft flavor, and mild acidity produced by wheat malt. Alright, so it's a wheat beer, so I'm expecting this to be hazy when we pour it off in the mug. Let's see what we've got. <coughs> and, you know, six bucks is a little bit pricey for a a beer that's 5.5 percent, but I wanted to try it. I ain't never seen a beer like this. Well, I mean, it's got a touch of haze to it, but it's got a beautiful head. Look at that. Nice head. I can get just a little whiff of the coriander uh, in the aroma. Just very, very slight. Taste the head, see what it's like. Wow. You get a blend of it all in that head. The flavor of the head. I can taste the nutmeg, I can taste the coriander, and I can taste the, uh, it's like a, you know how if you take an orange peel and you squeeze it, you get that little juice and you taste it and it's real bitter? That's that's what I'm getting. It's like the bitterness of an orange peel. And I get, well, it said, it said it's brewed with orange peel, so that, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that bitterness from an orange peel and the nutmeg. Nutmeg is not as prevalent and the coriander is not. These are most, most of what I'm getting is the bitterness of the orange peel. But you can taste a little bit of the coriander and the nutmeg in the head there. <clears throat> and be honest with you, the, the, the bitterness in the head is, is not very pleasant. It's not like the typical bitterness in beer that I like. It's a little bit, I don't know, it's just not as good to me. It's kind of a, it's kind of a bitterness that, that, that leaves an aftertaste. And, and most beers don't do that to me. They don't leave a, an aftertaste. All right, so I swished the can, and, and you can tell it's already more hazy. And as I'm swishing for the rest of it in there, it should haze it up quite a bit more. And it did. You can't even see nothing to it now. It's completely hazy. Just poured that cloud off, and it's got a pretty color. It's kind of an orange gold. Kind of an orangey gold color. Alright y'all, Hitachino Nest White Ale from Japan at a 5.5% ABV. And this is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way just like I do. It takes us all, hard working Americans, working together and uh, doing what we need to do to support ourselves and our families and keep America rolling and moving. Anyway, cheers, brothers and sisters.
Well, the brew itself is better than the flavor of the head. I'm still getting a little, just a little bit of that uh, orange peel bitterness, but not as much, and it doesn't leave as much of a, an aftertaste. I am getting a little more of the coriander, but I'm not getting any of the nutmeg in the flavor of the, the body of the beer, or I did get it in the head. So, it's okay. Um, it's not great by any stretch to me. Uh, it almost like, <clears throat> it's almost like they tried to do too much with it, if, in my opinion. Uh, I, I have had beers that have had a blend of different, you know, like uh, coriander and, and different adjuncts and stuff like that. Uh, that, that blended well. This one, it's almost like they tried to do too much, and it's just, I mean, it's okay, but it's not great by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to see if I can set my, if I keep, keep it. That gummit. Wind keeps blowing out. The wind ain't blowing much, y'all, but it's blowing that can off. Let's see if I can put that up there to hold it in place. <laughs> It's like it tried to put too much in the brew and kind of, you know, overdid it a little bit. It's just not that great to me. Uh, I'm personally going to score this one a B minus. Um, it, it's drinkable, uh, but it, it just, I just don't think it's that good. I mean, it's okay, but it's not, it's not really that good. It's not bad. Uh, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not where I'd pour it out or anything. It's just, I wouldn't go buy this on a regular basis, and I'm a little bit disappointed I paid six damn dollars for it, to be honest. But anyway, I'm not even going to let my wife try this one. She tried the one I did yesterday, <coughs> the, uh, the Wise Acre Burliner Vice, and she didn't like it too much. She liked the Juicy Peach I did on, uh, <coughs> on Wednesday, but she didn't like that one yesterday. I know she wouldn't like this one. Um, it's not got a tartness to it, but it's 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 got a bitterness that I, I know she wouldn't like it. So anyway, that's been a Friday's R for you this week. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for a Saturday suds, and I'm gonna make it a hard Saturday suds tomorrow. I've got a hard cider that I have never seen before, and I picked up down there at the World Market, so we're gonna try it. All right, y'all. Love and appreciate you. Cheers. <laughs>